welcome everyone tuning into the audio broadcast here on SGTV. You're listening to Gamecock Hockey. I'm Nick Claus as we get underway. An all freshman starting lineup for the Gamecocks tonight. Brody Smojice centering the first line. Marco Panetta on the left. Connor Berman on the right. Liam Gormley once again getting the start. Another two freshmen as the Blue Liners, Mulcairin and Reed as the Gamecocks in College of Charleston face off for the second time in two nights. South Carolina getting a late goal on the power play coming from Julian Reese. With under two minutes remaining last night, winning three to two. College of Charleston coming in at 0-1-1 one one as we are now underway. Panetta winning the faceoff back. Gamecocks take it in to their own zone. Looking for the breakout, stretch pass to Panetta. Over the blue line and back. Back and forth, these two go in neutral ice. Is now College of Charleston. Take things over, work their way up the rink. Frightford on the puck in his zone. Smoge ice on it, Mulcairin keeping it in. Sent deep, whistle blown for the hand pass. 19 minutes, 30 seconds remaining in the first. Both teams will get a change. College of Charleston in their red sweaters tonight, red socks, red pants. Gamecocks wearing the away whites. Third line coming in, Santoro, Wilkins, and Lazine on the ice. College of Charleston with the break in the offensive zone, broken up by Lazine. Under 19 minutes now in the first period. This Gamecocks dump and chase. Isaiah Khan starting in net once again. Shot and they score. Gamecocks get up one to nothing early. Shot sent from the right point. As Avery Pruden gets his first goal of the year. And a different story tonight, South Carolina getting on top early as they've trailed their last four games. Now first line of Thomas, Maddie, and Mecca, the forwards for South Carolina. Pruden on defense with DeChico. Gamecocks win the faceoff back, attempt to break out Maddie with the dump. The Cougars take over, intercepted in the defensive zone, and that's sent down ice, no icing call. The Cougars go for the dump and change. Now South Carolina coming the other way, big hit on the boards for College of Charleston. Behind the net is the Gamecocks. Send it up the far side. Looking for the breakout, that's broken up. Cougars have it in front of the net, that's sent out by Gormley, kept in for South Carolina as they'll remain on defense for the time being. Cougars get a change on the blue line as now that comes out. Mecca attempts the pass at center ice. Cougars coming the other way. One on three, drop pass attempt, no one there. Thomas with a big hit in center ice is now Mecca trying to take it in on his own. Reese will send a deep shot on Kahn. Padded away is now Fright Furtick sending it out for the Cougars. 1740 remains in the first period. Stretch pass looking for Oakley. No one there. Puck sent down ice. South Carolina leading one to nothing. If you're just joining us, listening to Gamecock Hockey on SGTV. I'm Nick Kloss, South Carolina wearing the white tonight. Cougars in the red. Greeley sending one in, two on O. Oh. Reese in front, sends the shot wide right. Net gets knocked off the Warrings and will get a play blown dead. Face off coming to the left of Isaiah Khan, having a big game last night as South Carolina outshot the Cougars pretty handedly. Reese to take the face, Oakley 
behind him with McGowan. McGowan at the left point. Sends one in, that's blocked away. Reese with the shot. Saved and covered by Khan. Whistle blown dead. South Carolina will get a full change as well as College of Charleston. As things are still early here in the first period. Lazine wins it back. McGowan with the shot from the point. That's smothered by Khan. Face off coming in the same spot. In the far left corner in that circle. Panetta taking it. The freshman starting line in. Berman, Smojice, Panetta. Panetta and Smojice, both natives of Charleston, coming back home to play in this game. Puck sent into the defensive zone for the Gamecocks. Oakley there to take things over. They'll play back and forth. That first D line of McGowan and Oakley still out for South Carolina. Puck. <laughs> Rats behind the net for McGowan and now sent deep for College of Charleston blue line. Played down in a huge hit in center ice. McGowan goes down, gets right back up. Brody breaking things up in the offensive zone, but now College of Charleston on the other way, two on one. Oakley with the diving stop. 16 minutes remain, delayed penalty against College of Charleston. McGowan was hit up high. South Carolina will go on the power play. Much to the discretion of the College of Charleston faith, faithful, but Greeley, Reese, and Bolger. The forwards for this first power play unit, Mulcairn and Reed play <laughs> playing back. Played down ice by College of Charleston. Gormley out to play it. They'll regroup behind the net, get things set up. Bolger up ice, sends a cross ice pass to Mulcairn. He makes his way down the near side boards. Tries the drop pass to Reed, unable to get it. They'll regroup in neutral ice and re-enter. Bolger coming through, he's tripped up. No one called. College of Charleston successful on the kill as they'll send it down ice once again. 15 minutes, 11 seconds remaining in the first period. They'll stay in their defensive zone Pass sent up to Wilkins. Wilkins offside as he's almost dropped. Fight for it goes down as he absorbs the hit. Whistle will be blown, so we'll have a face off coming outside the Cougars' defensive zone. South Carolina now 3 1 and 1. Overtime loss to Tennessee, and then a loss in regulation, both in Knoxville. Refs debate what the call is. As 58 seconds remain on the penalty for College of Charleston. Face off, one back by Mecca, Mecca Thomas. It seems Wilkins on the left side as puck sent deep. Gorman drops it for Pruden behind the net. 43 seconds remain on the power play for South Carolina. Thomas attempting a drop pass in neutral ice. The Cougars send it down once again. Now Pruden bringing it up. Pruden dropped in center ice, big hit for the Cougars. South Carolina regrouping. Uh, pass set up the near side boards as a delayed penalty and the whistle will be blown. Avery Pruden will go to the box for a high hit. 
as some pushing and shoving coming after the whistle between those two. But we'll have four on four hockey for 19 seconds. Is also needing some containment of the fans here at the Carolina Ice Palace. Some beer splashed. Some beer splashed on the ref says uh, one of the fans will be tossed out of this game. Two teams had a pretty chippy start yesterday and things continue early tonight. 14 minutes, 19 seconds remaining in the first period. As the refs will talk over with these two teams captains and they'll call matching penalties. So South Carolina will remain up a skater for the next 19 seconds and then we will see four on four hockey. South Carolina going on the road for the first time, second time this season, <laughs> third game, looking to get their first win. Mecca and Thomas, the forwards out, DeChico and Kalega. Wilkins hopping up on that first line. as the refs will break things up. <laughs> Face off coming in the offensive zone for the Gamecocks to the right of Isaiah Khan. And just like that, they'll get set and then now be brought out of the zone. So face off coming outside the blue line on the near side. Face off one to Thomas. Thomas brings it up the near side boards, attempts to cut in. That'll be sent out by the Cougars. Kalega there to regroup the puck for South Carolina. Now he'll pass cross ice as they'll set up the breakout. Kalega finds Thomas. Thomas on the far side, stops at the point. Mecca with a shot from the center and that's wide right. South Carolina bringing it out of the zone. Will now look to re-enter. Cougars maintaining in their own third of the ice. First penalty over for College of Charleston, so they're successful on the kill. But now four on four, excuse me, five on five for these two teams. Shot on goal, wide open rebound in front of the net for South Carolina, that's cleaned out by College of Charleston. Big hit coming from Bobby DeChico just outside the defensive zone. Now the Gamecocks taking it back. We'll bring it in front of Gormley. As they find Greeley on the near side boards, they'll send a dump in, Bolger first to the puck. Sent in front for Reese. McGowan there to collect. He sends it out. Now in the far side corner. They have Oakley. Oakley first to the puck, but played out by College of Charleston as they now go on the offensive. Turnover forced by Bolger. South Carolina will dump again. Reese first in the far corner. He's got a one on one fight. He'll have some help from Lazine. Lazine playing behind with the puck. Now put up, McGowan pushes. That's wrapped around by College of Charleston as they attempt to break out of their own zone. Three on two coming for the Cougars. They cut inside. 12 minutes remaining in the first period. South Carolina leading one to nothing off of an early goal from Avery Pruden from the right point. Now Santoro gets knocked up as he enters the zone, getting his first goal, tying things up late against Tennessee. 
College of Charleston, two on one coming the other way. They pass it in front, that's broken up by Wilkins. And now they'll come and transition the other way. Lazine in front of that, deep shot sent by Wilkins, saved by Kahn, pucks in front. Santoro with the rebound, that's sent wide. Now Santoro in the near side corner, cycles it down to Wilkins. It'll go through to Lazine, and now the Cougars on the breakout. South Carolina regrouping in front of netminder Liam Gormley, tipped by Reed. Smojice on the puck. Just like that, it comes right back, cross ice pass to Mulcairin. Mulcairin up ice to Smojice, he'll dump off the blocker of Kahn. They'll wrap it around off the boards, played inside. Two on two. South Carolina on the back check. They go inside, shot wide right, tipped off the glove, Ali of Gorley. Delayed penalty called. Seems to be on South Carolina. So for the first time tonight, College of Charleston will be on the power play. Gamecocks look to kill it. Excuse me, correction there. South Carolina will go on the power play again as Kai Gwinnup getting his second penalty of the game already. Whistle was blown while the puck was in neutral territory. Face off coming to the right of Kahn. One back to Oakley. Oakley, cross ice pass on the far side point to McGowan. He sends it deep. Mecca behind the net as they set up their power play. He'll cycle it down to Thomas. Thomas pushes on net, sends it in front. Wilkins not able to get a shot off. The Cougars send it down ice, a minute 34 remaining in the power play for South Carolina. We are now halfway through this first period as the puck is brought behind Liam Gormley. South Carolina breaking things out. Thomas on the blue line. They'll enter the zone. It's McGowan. So Wilkins on the right side. McGowan now on the left. Shot in front. On oh, net saved by Kahn. Pucks in front. McGowan on the far point. Brings it down to the corner. He'll look in front. Looks for Thomas off the skate. Drops back to Oakley on the near side point. Shot sent in and blocked. Oakley once again. Sends it in, now Mecca behind the net. Looks in front to Thomas, deflected away. He'll bring it to the far side. Now Wilkins trickles down the blue line. Toe drag shot was Bulger. Now in front, shoot, they score. Bulger on the back door. South Carolina leads two to nothing. Nine minutes, six seconds remaining. And another power play goal for South Carolina. They are one for two tonight. Bulger getting the back door rebound. And South Carolina getting on top early with this two goal lead. Face off will come back to center. Panetta, Smojice, and Berman, the forwards for South Carolina. Face off won by College of Charleston. Now played in by Pruden. Sent back to DeChico. He looks to the near side to Panetta. Pucks lost in the defensive zone. College of Charleston attempting the breakout. Now they'll enter the offensive zone. They're called off size, play blown dead. As we are back five on five, after the power play goal releases the man from the box. 
Faceoff coming on the far side, just outside the Gamecock zone, right next to the blue line. Cross ice pass to DeChico. He's on the near side, trickles one up, Smoge ice. Khan raises the hand for icing, no call there. Smoge ice gets there in time. Berman and him fight behind the net. The Cougars win that battle, but quickly played back into the offensive zone for South Carolina. Berman in the far side corner. Tries to play it up to the point. That's blocked down as they'll scrap in the far side corner. Played up, shot coming wide, sticked away by Kahn. DeChico stepping up near the near side hash marks. He'll lose it behind. Panetta right there. South Carolina keeping it in. Now Panetta, near side corner, plays it in front. Fright Fertig trying to play it out. Now DeChico in front of the net. He sends a backhand high over Isaiah Kahn out of play. We'll get a whistle with seven minutes, 36 seconds remaining here in the first period. Two nothing lead if you're just joining us here at the Carolina Ice Palace, South Carolina winning three to two last night. Julian Reese scoring the game winning goal with under two minutes remaining. College of Charleston playing in the ACCH H AECC HC, but only playing SEC HC opponents so far, losing two games to Georgia Tech, both in overtime. An opponent, South Carolina, will see down the road. Now Santoro entering the offensive zone. He'll dump it. Lazine on the puck as they'll play behind the Cougars' net. Wilkins in front. That's dumped back into the corner. Santoro with the Interception in front of the net, but played out. Deep shot sent for Mulkirin. Kick save by Khan. Now Lazine in the far side corner. Thomas putting it in front. Quick snapshot saved by Khan. Rebound still free. Mulkirin sends one from the near side point off the shoulder of Khan. South Carolina maintaining possession as now College of Charleston will relieve the pressure, one on one. College of Charleston turning the transition into offense. Shot on goal, easy kick save for Liam Gormley. Hasn't had much action so far this game. Now puck played up by the Gamecocks. Fright Fertig sending one from the point for the Cougars. That's over. South Carolina now behind their own net, trying to break things out. Now Bolger on the far side, brings it into the corner. He sends one in front looking for Greeley just out of reach. That will play out, Kalega plays it across as they'll look to work their way back in to the offensive zone. Cross ice pass from the Cougars D-man looking for a deep stretch pass as now they'll come into South Carolina's zone. Interception by Greeley coming the other way. He enters, setting it inside, looking for Reese. Goes across and out. For College of Charleston, as they'll play back and forth in the neutral zone. Now in the offense for them, Gormley with a save. College of Charleston getting a change. Now South Carolina, a dump and chase. Mecca and Thomas on the puck. Sets around on the far side and out. Tyler Oakley will send it right back in. Gloved by Kahn, but he'll play it. Under five minutes remaining in the first period. South Carolina with the two goal lead. Bulger and Pruden as a delayed penalty will come. This one seeming to be against South Carolina for boarding. Tyler Oakley will go to the box. So now College of Charleston will have their first power play of this game. South Carolina on the penalty kill. Face off coming to the left of Gormley in their own zone. 
tied up on the center. Played to the point, unable to keep it in his fright verdict. Maddie on the ice on the kill. South Carolina playing in their own zone right now. College of Charleston setting up the power play. Near the hash, now it's at the point, fright verdict. He'll send it on the far side. Cross ice pass now in the near side point as they'll wrap it around. South Carolina will send it down ice with a minute 20 remaining on the kill. Khan out to play it, Fright Fertig now sitting behind Lazine in front for the Gamecocks. They'll break things out. Putting it through center ice is College of Charleston. Didn't see anything they liked, they'll bring it back. Now entering the offensive zone. Lazine creates the turnover and sends it down ice. Under a minute remaining in the power play for the Cougars. Three minutes, 30 seconds remain in the first period. College of Charleston playing back and forth. Santoro with pressure. As now they'll bring it up through center ice. Trying to set, trying to set things up one more time. Turnover caused by Reed. South Carolina will send it down ice again. Berman putting pressure on Khan as he plays the puck around. And now Fright Fertig on the attack for College of Charleston, played out once again, but now a break. Berman looking in front, he finds Reese, shot in a robbery save by Isaiah Khan. Cross ice pass, Reese all alone. Khan able to sprawl out, get the glove on it. Things will stay at two to nothing in favor of the Gamecocks, could have been three. Face off coming to the right of Isaiah Khan in the offensive zone as Reese Greeley and Bolger play with Oakley who is now out of the box. Shot sent from the near side circle by Bolger that's cast away. Now sent around by College of Charleston. Oakley stepping up. They'll get it out of their own zone but McGowan playing it to Reese and they'll send it back in for the dump and chase. Greeley causing interception. Now Reese with one man to beat. He's hit in front of the net, no shot on goal. Two minutes, 17 seconds remaining in the first period. College of Charleston with the stretch pass, making their way through center ice. That's off the skate, Oakley takes over. They'll wrap it around their own net and slow things down in their own zone. Bulger on the far side, hash maps, bringing it inside. Cross ice pass, Reese. On the center, Greeley sends a shot from deep, smothered by the chest of Isaiah Khan. Play will be blown dead. Face off coming in the offensive zone for the Gamecocks with under two minutes to play in the first. Mecca, Thomas, and Maddie on the near side circle for this face off. Mulcairin and Reed, the freshman defensive duo. Mecca lining up on the right side of Maddie, just behind him. Played back, one by Maddie. Mecca trying to send the shot on, that's blocked. Now cross ice pass to Reed. Reed keeps it in for just a moment. Now College of Charleston with the stretch pass the other way. It's a one on two, as that's broken up by Mulcairin and Reed. Shot sent in by the Cougars, that's wide left of Gormley. Puck sent high, is now Thomas enters on the near side. Sends a shot, blockered away by Khan. Reed keeping it in once again, but the Cougars will send it the length of the ice. Icing waved off, as now we'll have a minute remaining in the first period. Cougars have a break, backhand set, kick save by Gormley. Thomas sending defense into offense. He sends one in front, blocked away. Now Maddie with the shot in front, that's wide left. Pruden on the far point. 
keeping it in, sends it into the corner for Mecca. Played around to Thomas behind the Cougars net. He'll bring it to the near side. Sent to the near side point, more Karen unable to keep his stick on the puck. They'll take it out and regroup. Now Smojice coming in. He's at the top of the circle, brings it in the near side corner. Now playing it around the net. Mecca to help. Pruden keeping it in on the near side port. 15 seconds remaining in the first period. Gamecocks trying to get one last goal. Now sent around to Smojice. 10 seconds remaining. Pruden on the point. Sent across by Smojice. That's high and out of play. Whistle will be blown with just two seconds remaining in the first period. Faceoff should come in the offensive zone for South Carolina, but only two seconds left. They lead two to nothing. Goals coming from Pruden and Julian Reese. Face off coming, Matting takes it as time will expire. And South Carolina ends the first period up two to nothing on College of Charleston. The Gamecocks went down early in the last game, but able to get an early lead here as both teams will go to their respective locker rooms for intermission. We'll get about an 18 minute break here, but we'll be back with the second period action. You're listening to Gamecock Hockey on SGTV. We'll be back after this break.
Welcome back here to Carolina Ice Palace as the second period is ready to get underway. South Carolina leading two to nothing over College of Charleston. Puck will drop in center ice. Mojice, Berman and Panetta, the forwards for South Carolina. Mulcairn and Reed, the blue liners. That's played around on the near side on the hash. Played up, now Panetta with a break. He's got one man in front as he enters the offensive zone. Won't be able to get there in time. Icing called. Face off will come to the other end. Khan and Gormley still in nets for their respective teams. So no icing called, but the play was blown dead. So South Carolina will actually have a face off in the offensive zone. Already getting a change as Reese Bolger and Greeley on the ice for South Carolina now. Coming on the far side circle, one back, Mulcairin. Poke check to keep it in. Tipped up and into the Gamecocks bench, out of play. So a penalty was called, that's why the faceoff came in the offensive zone. Gamecocks now on the power play. Explains the early line change. Face off, one back. South Carolina taking it into their own zone to regroup. They'll enter the zone. Colin Patton in the box. For them as one time from Reese. Kick save by Khan, and then that's sent into the bleachers. Play blown dead, face off coming up in the Cougars zone on the near side. A minute 36 remains in the power play. Now Reese on the face, that's one back as they'll play it on the near side. Bulger in front, Mulcairin on the cross ice pass, shot goes wide, Reese on the rebound, saved by Kahn, now South Carolina. Reed in front, he sends a shot in off the outside of the crossbar but bounces into the glove of Kahn. Minute 12 remains in the power play, College of Charleston changing up their PK unit. Face off coming on the far side now in the Gamecocks offensive zone. Reese, Bulger and Greeley still the three for South Carolina, the forwards. Sent across, Bulger on the one time. Stuffed against the post by Khan. Ref blows the play dead. Another face off coming. As they still have over a minute on the power play. Putting a lot of pressure on Isaiah Khan to keep the Gamecocks in it. Mulcairin from the near side point. He goes off the crossbar and out. Reed. Mulcairin on the far side, sends another shot, saved by Khan. They'll fight in the far side corner, now sent in front. Cross ice pass looking for Bulger. Bulger unable to maintain the puck. They'll keep it. Sends it across for Mulcairin on the far side. Now in front for Reese. Reese shot, kick saved by Khan. 32 seconds remaining on the power plays. The Cougars are able to send it the length of the ice. That'll be tapped away by Gormley. Mulcairin bringing it behind the net to slow things down for the Gamecocks. Two to nothing is the score. South Carolina leads. Pruden and Bolger, the goal scorers for South Carolina. Pruden getting his first of the year. Bolger adding on another. Now Mecca coming up the near side boards. He's hit, sends a pass across. Looking for Thomas. The Cougars break things up as the penalty will expire. All even on the ice for these two. Center ice pass to Wilkins. That's tangled up in his skates as they'll fight in neutral ice. Now Thomas on the far side. He's on the hash mark. Sending in front to Wilkins at the top of the center. Is now a delayed penalty called. It will be hooking on College of Charleston. South Carolina will go on the power play once again as now the puck is touched by the Cougars 
and the play is blown dead. Another power play coming for South Carolina, already successful on one, as they'll look to go two for four on the night. Reese, Bulger, and Greeley back on. Oakley and McGowan, the two defensemen. Face off coming on the far side circle in front of Isaiah Khan. Now one back to Oakley. Oakley at the far side point. Now at the hash marks is Greeley. McGowan on the near side point sends it in to Bulger. Now back to Oakley. Oakley sends a low shot that's tipped and sent to the near side. Now Bulger looking for Oakley who is cutting in. That pass is behind. Now McGowan in his own zone sending it up. Bulger through center ice enters the offensive zone. Sent across looking for Reese. He sends a shot on and that's blocked away. Now a minute 23 remaining in the power play. Sent down ice. Gormley out to play it sending a lengthy pass to Bulger. Now Reese brings it around the Cougars net. He's on the near side. Puck gets tangled up in the corner. Bulger bringing it the other way. Now at the point, one time from Oakley, tipped in front and out of play. 58 seconds remaining in the power play for South Carolina. 16-02 in the second as they lead two to nothing here in North Charleston. Now Smojice, Panetta, and Santoro on the ice for South Carolina. DeChico and Pruden, the blue liners. Now in the near side corner is Smojice. Drops it to Santoro as they'll fight behind the net and that'll move back to Smojice. Now Santoro behind the net. Sent up to the point. Pruden plays it back in. Smojice with the shot that's blocked in front of the net. Pruden. Takes another on the rebound, once again blocked. 32 seconds remain. Santoro in the far side corner, sent up to the top to Chico. Sends a low snapper, kicked away by Khan. Near side corner, South Carolina still working their power play. Is now Panetta taking it around. He's on the far side, stick lift. Is now another delayed penalty in South Carolina as this one expires, we'll get another power play. Or it will be extended, I should say. There'll be five on three for three seconds. And then we'll go to five on four yet again. Looking to add another goal on the night, making it three nothing. Still at two so far. Face off coming in the offensive zone for South Carolina as we'll get a little break here. It's coming on the right of Isaiah Khan on the far side. Eric Frank heads to the box for College of Charleston. That's one back. Thomas with the low shot, saved by Khan. South Carolina getting the puck back one time from Reed, kick save by Khan. Now, in the near side corner is Wilkins. Wilkins playing it up to the point, but that's broken up and will be out of the offensive zone for South Carolina. Wilkins getting the puck back and he'll make his way in the offensive zone and now around the Cougars net. Now on the near side hash played up to Mulkirin. Mulkirin snaps it wide left. Now a rebound shot, that's wide. South Carolina getting a lot of pressure. 14 minutes, 27 seconds remaining. Another penalty called. Seems that Josh Wilkins will go to the box for slashing. Four on four hockey will come for the next a minute 18 and then College of Charleston will have a small power play. For 42 seconds, had to do the quick math on that one. Really hope that's right. Face off coming now to the other end in front of 
Gormley, who hasn't seen any action yet in this period. Maddie and Cam Mecca, the penalty killers for South Carolina, excuse me, the four on four unit for South Carolina. As Mecca's brought down on the blue line, now College of Charleston will come the other way. Pruden breaks things up and sends the dump in. Maddie on the other side. He'll pin things up on the far side boards. Now bring things to center ice. Drop pass to Kalega. Kalega sends the shot, that's blocked. Now one on one is Kalega in College of Charleston. He'll cut things off on the far side hash now in the Gamecock zone. 13 minutes, 48 seconds remaining in the second period. Now sent up the near side boards by Mecca. They'll stuff things in the center. Mecca now enters the offensive zone. He'll get the shot. Low kick save by Khan. Now a breakaway coming for College of Charleston. Gormley, it's sent wide. No save needed. Now cross ice pass looking for Maddie on the near side. It's out of reach. Khan will play it behind the neck. Six seconds remaining in four on four hockey. Then 42 seconds on the power play for College of Charleston. Puck goes back and forth, neutral ice as Berman plays things. Now College of Charleston enters. They look to the point, no one there. Owen Thomas coming the other way. Now Hill crossed the blue line, he's in front. Shot to the chest of Kahn, another save for him. 17 seconds remaining on the power play for College of Charleston. Berman sends one deep, played by Kahn as College of Charleston will regroup. Now going now the other way, two on two. College of Charleston playing it through the legs in a cycle behind the net. Now in front, shot saved by Gormley. South Carolina will dump it down and an icing will be called. Excuse me, it's waved off in the last second. So now College of Charleston playing it the other way. Now one on one, shot set in. Looked like it would go wide. The Cougars get on the board. Gormley trying to play it out, but misjudged it and it trickles in. On the blocker side of Liam Gormley, two to one here at the Carolina Ice Palace. And the Cougar faithful finally have something to cheer about. As now the faceoff will come to center ice. Lazine, Santoro, and Wilkins. The forwards now for South Carolina as they look to keep this lead. Pluck played deep to Liam Gormley. He sticks it away. As now South Carolina breaks things out. Stretch pass to Lazine. Just out of reach. Now behind the net of Isaiah Kahn. Wilkins in the far side corner played in front to Lazine. Lazine drops it to the point. Reed sends a shot that's blocked. He'll make his way up the far side boards. Now back in the corner is Maddie. College of Charleston attempting to play it off the glass. That's kept in by their own teammate. As now they're on the near side. Wilkins drops back to play the point. Dumps it in behind the net. Wrapping it around the far side. Now Reed at the point. Santoro sends a shot. Far, deflected away. Now Mulcairin, low stinger. Blockered away, 10 minutes, 52 seconds remaining in the second. Now just a one goal lead for South Carolina as College of Charleston will make their way up through center ice. Now they'll attempt to enter the offensive zone. No offsides called. But now the other way is the Gamecocks. Three on one, Reed plays it to Greeley. Drop pass, shot by Reese. Knocked away by Kahn. Now Reese in the near side corner. He walks it around, now on the other side. Drop pass to Greeley. Greeley making his way over the top of the circle. Puck loose in front of the net. No one there for the Gamecocks. Cougars will take over. Now a turnover.
for South Carolina. Greeley trying to sneak one in on the near side post. Khan there. Now behind the net is Reese. He dropped back as they'll have it at the point. Mulcairin with the poke check. College of Charleston generates the turnover, sending one deep. Padded away by Gormley. South Carolina coming the other way. Greeley entering the offensive zone on the near side. He's in front with time and room. He shoots, he scores. Dylan Greeley. Regaining the two goal lead for South Carolina. Sending one low on the far post past Isaiah Khan. Three to one here in North Charleston. Faceoff will now come back to the center just under halfway in the second period. Last game they played last night ended three to two. Right now, South Carolina looking at a three to one lead. Mecca playing the puck around. Thomas, Mecca, and Maddie on the ice for South Carolina. Thomas in front looks for Maddie cross ice, but that's blocked away. DeChico with a big hit at center ice as the puck is dumped. Delayed penalty called. Seems to Chico will go to the box for interference. Was the initial call. And they'll grab him off of the faceoff and stick him in the box. College of Charleston getting on the power play once again tonight. Julian Reese with the assist on the Dylan Greeley goal. Face off coming in the Gamecocks defensive zone on the far side circle in front of Liam Gormley. Maddie to take the face off. He sends it. Off the bat, out of play, Berman, the other forward for the penalty kill. College of Charleston slows things down behind their own net. They'll attempt the breakout and to set up their power play scheme. Now they go in front. Patton tries to make his way through two defenders. Turn over there, Maddie sending it down the length of the ice. Khan playing it behind his own net. Berman with pressure. College of Charleston cuts through center ice. Patton with a shot that's wide right. Now another shot sent from the goal line that's high and will trickle out of play. Freitfertig will take things into his own zone, regroup for College of Charleston. Now they'll make their way around and be called offsides on the re-entrance. Play blown dead, face off coming on the far side, just outside South Carolina's blue line. Still five on four hockey for the next one minute. College of Charleston looking to get things back within one. Panetta, Lazine, Oakley, and McGowan the four on the ice. That's on the point for College of Charleston. Kick save by Gormley. Rebounds there. Almost in, but waved off by the official. Now at the point once again, College of Charleston. Sticked away by Gormley. 33 seconds left on the kill for South Carolina. Shot set from the near side circle, but deflected out of play as South Carolina will get a whistle nearly only having a one goal lead once again. Face off coming to the right of Gormley. Gamecocks going right to left right now. 
Seven minutes, 46 seconds remaining in the second period. Still 3-1. If you're just joining us, I'm Nick Kloss. Listening to Gamecock Hockey on SGTV. South Carolina sending it down ice, killing time on this penalty. Bobby DiCicco in the box for interference. College of Charleston trying to break things out. They'll make their way through center ice and re-enter the offensive zone. Broken up by Lazine, playing it up the boards. Five on five hockey once again here in North Charleston. But a turnover caused right in front of the net. Two on one, backhand. College of Charleston puts it away. Back within one. They make it three to two here at home. Charlie Dismaris with the goal. Backhand squeaking past the blocker of Liam Gormley. Seven oh eight remaining in the second period. There's already five total goals scored in this game tonight. Same amount as scored last night in Irmo. Gamecocks were home there. South Carolina in the white jerseys tonight. College of Charleston wearing their all red uniforms, pants and socks included. Quick dangle around for Patton as he enters the offensive zone, plays that around the net. South Carolina breaking things up. Berman on the near side boards trying to chip things out, and he does. Panetta and Smojice now two on one. Panetta cutting inside, sends a shot. Blocker, Smojice with the rebound, saved by Kahn. The two Charleston boys going for the two on one. Panetta dropped in the far side corner. Whistle blown dead as they'll get into it. Things will be broken up. The two hometown boys getting the two on one with six minutes, 30 seconds remaining in the second. Khan with a, yet another big save to keep his team in it. College of Charleston getting a full change. Face off coming to the right of Isaiah Khan on the far side circle. Smojice, Panetta, and Berman still on for South Carolina. Smojice takes the draw. One back, Panetta. At the top of the circle, sends a shot that's deflected in front. Now played around. Panetta behind the net of the Cougars, sent to the top. Mulcairin with the shot, sticked away by Kahn. Smojice brings it out now, back in for the Gamecocks. He's on the far side, working his way down the boards. Now in the far side corner, Drop pass back to Bolger. Bolger with the shot. Saved by Kahn. South Carolina keeps it in. Shot from the point. Smojai sending it wide left. Now it's at the point. Near point, Mulkirin. He sends a shot. Glove save by Isaiah Kahn. And we'll get a stoppage in play. Five minutes, 36 seconds remaining in the second period. 3-2 to two here at the Carolina Ice Palace. The Gamecocks lead. Led by as much as two at two different points in the game. Once 2-0. Once 3-1. to one. Bolger, Greeley, and Pruden, the goal scorers for South Carolina. Not in that order. Pruden starting things off as snaps from the point. Rebound there. Reese looking for... The wraparound, chaos in front of the net. Covered by Kahn. Bolger, Greeley, and Reese all right in front of Isaiah Kahn trying to stuff it away. Whistle blows the play dead. South Carolina will have another face off in the offensive zone. They'll stay, both teams will stay the same for this next face off. Julian Reese will take it for the Gamecocks.
little stoppage here as the refs discuss. And whistle will blow, play will resume. Face off, one back by the Cougars. Now they'll come through center ice on the far side. Dump and chase. Kalega first there, he brings it around up the boards for Bolger. Bolger not able to get to it through his skates. College of Charleston taking over possession, working their way back in. Bobby DeChico causing the turnover, plays it up, Bolger now. Reese, he crosses the blue line, cutting inside, drop pass looking for Bolger, broken up by the Cougars. South Carolina will have to come back in their own zone and regroup. DeChico looks for the Crocs ice pass, that's deflected. College of Charleston with a two on two, centering pass, not there. Now the Gamecocks having it behind their own net, slowing things down, looking for a breakout. DeChico with lots of time, looking for a cross ice pass on the far side for Greeley. Broken up by College of Charleston. Gamecocks will get a change. Kalega staying on, now working the puck around the Gamecocks net. Mecca on the near side hash marks, sending it up. McGowan through center ice. Pass to the far side to Reese. Now inside to Greeley. Reese in front of the net. Greeley in the far side corner with the puck. Drops it down, Mecca now in the corner. Up top, Mecca in top of the circle. Wilkins coming in and that's poked out of the offensive zone. Now South Carolina will have to come back in. Three minutes, 39 seconds remaining in the second. Still three to two here in North Charleston. Breakout attempt stopped by Owen Thomas. They'll poke it through finally. And now try to work things out. Set up an offense as College of Charleston, but a dump sent, no icing called. Oakley behind the net for South Carolina. Now Mecca playing it up to Thomas. Thomas on the near side, crosses the blue line. He'll send a pass inside for Wilkins, saved by Kahn. Rebound not there for the Gamecocks. Gormley coming out to play a puck as it was one on one. But now Fright Furtick will regroup things for College of Charleston as it'll go back and forth in center ice. Now Mecca makes his way through the neutral zone. He's on the near side, looks for the centering pass. But that's played back into the corner. And now to the point, shot sent in, that's wide left. Thomas in the near side corner, cycles things around, centering pass for Berman, he whiffs. Now a stickless College of Charleston player trying to kick things out. Delayed penalty called, slashing will be the verdict. <laughs> penalty on Josh Wilkins, his second of the night. Another College of Charleston power play coming here shortly. Face-off coming in the offensive zone on the right of Liam Gormley. Maddie Lazine. The two forwards on the PK unit. Maddie once again winning the faceoff outright, sending it down ice. Now two minutes remain in the second period. South Carolina trying to kill off this penalty and maintain the one goal lead, three to two here against College of Charleston. Cougars working their way in on the far side. Pruden, the other defenseman on the ice for South Carolina, tries to clear things out. That's deflected out of play, a whistle blown. A minute 36 remaining on the power play. Now the faceoff coming to the left of College of Liam Gormley, Gamecocks defensive zone. DeChico battling on the near side boards, played to the point for Fright Furtick for the Cougars. Now Patton at the circle, drops it down. 
and will play it right back up. Patton with the shot as Gormley's down, but it's deflected high. He gets his feet back under him, minute 23 remaining in the second period. Tried to be played out by the Gamecocks, but kept in by the blue liners of the Cougars and finally sent down ice by South Carolina's Noah Maddy. Under a minute left in the power play, a minute seven remaining in the second period. Now up the near side boards is College of Charleston. Cross ice pass to Patton. Patton backhands it, sending it in front, deflected. Slap shot from Frightford, a kick save by Gormley. Under a minute remaining in the second period. Mulcairin battling behind his own net. Now played up, Berman sending it down ice. And will kill some substantial time on the power play and the remainder of the period. 30 seconds remaining in the period, 20 on the power play. Now cross ice pass from College of Charleston as they cross the blue line. They take it around. Desmarius, the, one of the goal scorers for College of Charleston, playing in the corner as another penalty called and play will stop. 19 seconds remaining in the, pe in the period. Eight seconds of the power play. It'll be five on three for the next eight seconds. Mulcairin heading to the box. He'll join Wilkins. Face off will come. In the South Carolina zone, Bolger, Reese, and Maddie, the three on the ice for South Carolina. Faceoff coming to the left of Liam Gormley. That's wrapped up by Maddie as he'll send it high and down ice. As we'll get a random buzzer. Clock didn't start. So we'll get another face-off. Still 19.5, leading three to two on the road. Eight seconds remaining for the Josh Wilkins penalty. Two minutes for the Mulcairin as that one has not begun yet. So South Carolina will start the second period on the kill. So they've been able to stay pretty successful on that tonight and for the most part on this young season so far. Three one and one is their record. Wins coming against College of Charleston last night, Clemson in game one of the Palmetto Cup and Kennesaw State, their season opener, two losses to Tennessee on the road in Knoxville. So faceoff will come back to the same spot to the right of Gormley same three on the ice for South Carolina. Wrapped up by Matty. Now Freitfertig at the point, sends a shot on net, saved by Gormley, rebound taken out by South Carolina. 10 seconds remaining in the period. As now three on O, Liam Gormley all alone. Shot and he makes the save. No one there sent in front. That's played out as time will expire. Gormley coming up huge for South Carolina in the last seconds. will go in to the second period. South Carolina will be on the kill for a minute 41. The penalty on Ronan Mulcairin. For the time being, it is still 3-2. South Carolina getting one in that period. Coming from Dylan Greeley, assisted by Julian Reese. South Carolina will look to maintain a one goal lead going into the third as we'll have another 18 minute intermission and then we'll be right back here on SGTV for the third period action so stay with us and we'll be back after the break.
Welcome back here to North Charleston at the Carolina Ice Palace as we are ready for third period action. South Carolina leading College of Charleston three to two. The same score as the end result last night. South Carolina coming out on top as the puck will drop as South Carolina is on the kill for the next minute 30. Ronan O'Kieran in the box for the Gamecocks. College of Charleston playing it in to the offensive zone. It's now it worked down the near side and sent down ice by the Gamecocks. And that'll be maintained by Isaiah Khan. If you're just joining us, it's 3-2 South Carolina in the away whites. College of Charleston in red. They come through center ice, cross ice pass. It's now College of Charleston coming on the near side. They're at the top of the circle, drop pass to the point. 47 seconds remaining on the power play. Centering pass off the pad of Liam Gormley, starting things off early. Now wrapped around by the Gamecocks, kept in by Kazmaris. Work a low shot in, that's stopped by Maddie and sent down ice. Under 30 seconds in the penalty kill, 18.43 in the third period. Fright Furtick bringing it up the near side. He enters the offensive zone, cuts through two players to Chico with the poke check. South Carolina clears once again. Khan passing across his own net. Reese, first man on the puck for the Gamecocks and Time will expire on the power play for College of Charleston, South Carolina with yet another successful penalty kill as sent down ice by the Gamecocks, no icing called. College of Charleston will regroup behind their own net and set up the breakout. Bulger, Reese, and Greeley on, intercepted by Reese in front of the net, played to the left to Greeley. No shot for the Gamecocks as they now have possession in the far side corner. Reese playing it around to Bulger. Bulger having it behind Isaiah Khan. Now works his way up the far side. Drop pass back to Greeley. He sends it in front for a cutting to Chico. And that'll be played down ice. Sean Reed, first to the puck for the Gamecocks, now sending it up as they'll make their way through neutral ice. That stopped in neutral ice by College of Charleston. Now Julian Reese. Already one goal and an assist today. Excuse me, not goal, but an assist today. As Greeley is dropped in center ice, three on two for College of Charleston, but the play's blown dead with 17 minutes, nine seconds remaining in the third period. As well, puck will be brought out of the Gamecock zone. Offsides was the call. On the near side, just outside the blue line, Gamecocks win the faceoff back. McGowan wrapping it around the boards, kept in by Freitfordig, but he stumbles. Now Mecca hopping on the puck. Mecca on the far side, drop pass to Thomas. Thomas with the shot, wide right. Now that's played up to the point for Oakley. Oakley sending a shot wide. Mecca looking for the tip. Now it's wrapped around by the Cougars and sent down ice, icing will be the call, face up, will come in the offensive zone for the Gamecocks. Still leading three to two, could have been three to three, except for an exceptional save by Liam Gorley as time expired on a three on up. Maddie Thomas and Mecca, the first line for the Gamecocks. As Ronan Egan, usually the man centering that line, healthy scratch tonight. Thomas fights for it around the hash mics on the near side. Shot sent in by Maddie off the side of the net. Thomas fighting in the near side corner. That gets stuck against. Now Maddie comes around the net, sending in front, looking for Mecca. No shot. Cougars in transition. They enter the offensive zone, slow things down. Shot sent wide right of Gormley. Cougars keep things in, working their way down the blue line and a wrap around. Sent in Mecca, now on the boards. 
he absorbs a hit and they'll get it out of their zone. Now Mecca coming up one on one. He has Thomas in front, backhands it there. That's broken up. Now Smojice with the shot, blocked in front. Mecca wraps it around, Smojice in the corner. Looking for the big hit, Oakley trying to keep it in with his skates but it slips through. McGowan will regroup behind the Gamecocks net, wait for the breakout and send it down ice. Smojice coming up the near side, he enters. Sends it inside to Panetta. They, Cougars trying to send it out. Smojice with the interception and a shot wide of the net. Kalega now skates the length of the ice to pick up the puck behind Liam Gormley. Panetta coming through center ice, one on one. He wraps around, sends the shot in, deflected a high, almost out of play, but play will continue. Panetta looking to go over the top of the circle, poked away and out of the offensive zone. Now South Carolina will regroup in their own. 14 minutes, 40 seconds remaining in the third period. College of Charleston trying to even things up here at home. Puck on the near side to the left of Gormley. Wrapped around Berman on the hash marks in their own zone. Played right back around. College of Charleston, the first there. They'll play it up to the point and right back into the near side corner. Two teams will fight for possession on the near side. Shot attempt from the Cougars blocked away. Now Frightford again the point, sends a shot in that's tipped wide right of Gormley. South Carolina taking over and coming behind their own net. Send it down ice so they can get a change. as the two Cougar Blue Liners will go back and forth and now the breakout stretch pass sent in by the Cougars, shot wide. Gormley not called into action again just yet. Wraparound sent in by the Cougars. Mulcairn at the point, fights to keep it in but that'll trickle in the neutral ice as the puck on the near side. Now cross ice pass for Reed, but he stumbles. So they'll bring it back in. Bulger gives it to Greeley. Greeley making his way over the blue line, looks for Reese on the right side. That goes into the corner. Reese with the centering pass, deflected away. He'll bring it behind Kahn. Looks in front for Bulger, away. Now Reese in front of the net, puts a backhand on. Saved by Kahn, and he'll put his glove on it to freeze the puck with 12 minutes 48 seconds remaining in the third. 3-2, still the score, face off coming in the offensive zone for the Gamecocks. They'll get a change. As it'll be to the right on the near side in front of Kahn. Santoro, Lazine, and Wilkins, the forwards for South Carolina. Santoro sending a shot right off the face, wide left. Puck tried to be cleared by the Cougars, but that will uh, hit the top of the rink. Be blown dead. Faceoff will come back into the Cougars' zone. Same lineup for South Carolina. Reed and DeChico, the blue liners. Face off one by the Cougars, taken behind their own net and brought out. Now the Cougars on the attack. Big hit by Sean Reed and a delayed penalty will come for the Gamecocks. Puck played in front to Gormley, that's touched and the play will be blown dead. South Carolina going back on the penalty kill. Reed will go to the box. South Carolina has been strong on the penalty kill so far tonight. They'll look to keep the streak alive. College of Charleston looking to even things up.
12 minutes, 23 seconds remaining. In the third period. Now two minutes on the penalty clock. Faceoff coming to the left of Gormley in the Gamecock zone. Shot sent in just outside the near side post. College of Charleston able to set up their power play, sent into the far side corner. They'll cycle through. Patton works his way in, takes the shot. Glove saved by Gormley. A minute 43 remaining on the power play. For College of Charleston. Face off coming to the right of Gormley on the far side circle. Now one back to College of Charleston D man and backhanded in but def deflected out of play. Face off will come. Minute 35 remaining in the penalty for Sean Reed. Lazine and Wilkins, two forwards out for South Carolina. So that's one back by the Cougars. South Carolina sets up the box. Shot sent in from the point, and that goes off the outside of the crossbar. Another shot in, saved by Gormley. Now at the point, Frightford extends one in, that's wide right. Another shot sent for the far side, Hash. Sticked away by Gormley, another shot. Gormley having to make save after save as a minute remains in the power play. College of Charleston on the near side, Hash looking to feed inside to Patton. Now at the point. Frightfurtig on the near side point, sends one low, rebound there. College of Charleston scores and they even things up. Coming from the rebound, off the shot from the point, Gormley makes the initial save, unable to get up for the second. We're all tied up here in North Charleston. Fright Fertig with the shot from the point to generate the rebound. Patton puts it away. South Carolina having to overcome the noise of this crowd as there is now a lot of energy in the building for the College of Charleston faithful. Now the refs discuss. Sean Reed still in the box for South Carolina. Clock still says 46 sec seconds left on the power play. Only four on the on the ice for the game Gamecocks. So there was another penalty called on the goal. Ryan McGowan now in the box. So Reed did. Exit. But after now things are all even up, South Carolina going right back on the penalty kill as they look to not trail as they haven't at all tonight. South Carolina's goals scored by Bulger and Greeley, the second, and Avery Pruden getting the first to start things off tonight. First two goals coming in the first period. Greeley's coming in the second. 11 minutes, nine remaining in the third period. Face off coming to center ice as a little bit of delay here. Refs making sure everything's all square in the scorer's box.
will have a little bit of downtime here. South Carolina still in better shape than the football program. <laughs> Down 44 to nothing to Texas A&M. And that is why South Carolina is a hockey school. Pruden and Collega. The D-man on the ice for South Carolina. Seems like Mecca and Maddie, the first choice for the PK, will be on the ice as well. As it seems they're almost ready to get set. But still a little bit of a wait. Three to three here in the third period. College of Charleston and South Carolina playing their second game in just as many nights. And now will resume play. Face off dropped in center ice. One back by College of Charleston. Patton hit in center ice by Pruden. Shot sent in by the Cougars and a man taken down and another penalty for South Carolina. They'll head to the box. Now five on three for the Gamecocks. Noah Maddy, Noah Maddy, excuse me, will go to the box for South Carolina. And a minute 48 of five on three hockey is what South Carolina is looking at. Not where they want to be with College of Charleston having all the momentum right now. Face off. One back by the Cougars. They'll set up the power play. They work their way in. Shot from center ice, saved by Gornley. Freitfertig with the shot. That's blocked. Try to be sent out, but the Cougars able to keep things in. Freitfertig at the near side point. He works his way to center. They slow things down. Kazmaris with the shot. Big save by Gormley as he robs Patton. Play will be stopped. Liam Gormley coming up big to keep this all tied up. Minute 17 on the two man advantage for the Cougars. Now one back by College of Charleston. Freitford at the point. Works his way to center once again. Now work down to the hash. Kazmaris with the shot saved by Gormley. Now in the far side corner. Little scrap there. Kalega and Mecca both on the ice for South Carolina. Shot sent in. Saved by Gormley. Rebound out front. Patton backhand set just wide, but play blown dead as two people get tangled up in a little bit of a scrap. Faceoff will remain in the offensive zone and both of those players will be sent to the box. Matching roughing calls as Mulcairin was the one involved there. 10 minutes, one second remaining in the third period, so we're, I'd say, halfway. It'll stay five on three. Face off coming to the left of Gormley. That's one forward by Julian Reese. That'll go the length of the ice and be taken by Freitfurtig as they'll wake their way from behind the net. Now they come through central ice, cross the blue line, cutting inside. Tries to make his way through three. Freifurter keeps it in. He makes his way through the middle. Blocker save by Gornley. Now at the near side point. It's tangled up. Kept in. Far side point shot. Saved by Gornley. Rebound there. Nets knocked off. Play called dead. 17 seconds remaining of five on three hockey here at the Carolina Ice Palace. 9.26 remains in the third period. 
all tied up at three to three. Face off coming on the far side circle in front of Gormley. Not too much action in the first or second periods, but coming up big late. Taken down, Cougars have it in front of the net, that's blocked out front. And another whistle as things start to get a little chippy here. And there is a College of Charleston player down on the ice. 10 seconds now left in the five on three. After that, there will be 12 seconds of five on four for South Carolina to get out of this difficult time unscathed. And that player will be all right. He'll make his way to the bench. And we'll see where the faceoff will come. It seems it's gonna be just outside the zone. Still on the far side. But the refs will talk it over. So we'll have a little bit of a break here. These two teams seeing each other two times in two nights, resulting in some familiarity and leads to some scraps there, but looking forward for the Gamecocks, they'll do another home and home with UNC Charlotte playing at home on Friday and away on Saturday as they did here over the last two days. Face off coming outside the zone. Patton will take it for South Carolina. Excuse me, Patton will take it for College of Charleston. Reese for the Gamecocks. College of Charleston trying to play it in, but that's sent down ice and out of the zone by Bolger. Now Bolger with a two on one with Reese. Sauce pass sets in front, put away by Bolger. South Carolina as the five on three expires. They go up four to three. Bolger and Reese in front of the net. And just like that, South Carolina takes the lead with a shorthanded goal. Three seconds left in the other penalty on Noah Matty. Bolger getting his second shorthanded goal of the year, first coming against Kennesaw State in the home opener. To recap that play, Bolger breaking things up center ice, starting with him, makes his way over the blue line, sends the centering pass on the two on one to Reese. Reese gets a backhand on goal. Bolger with the rebound, putting it away. So now, puck dropped at center ice. The Cougars bringing it back into their own zone, now breaking things out. Pruden on the puck in front of Gormley, and a penalty will be called now on College of Charleston. So after giving up the shorthanded goal, South Carolina now goes on the power play with eight minutes, 33 seconds remaining here in the third as they now lead four to three. South Carolina has led by one three different times. The other two earlier in this game, giving up a goal, evening things up, was College of Charleston. So now, faceoff coming on the near side in front of Isaiah Khan. Not seeing a faceoff here for a little bit as the play will blow dead very quickly. Penalty was not yet on the board. So face right in the same spot, Mecca to take it. Thomas and Wilkins, his line partner, shot. Sent off the face off from Thomas, that's over the net. College of Charleston pushing it out of the zone. Oakley back to poke the puck away and avoid the fast break. 
Minute 44 on the power play as Oakley takes it behind the net and they break things out. Mecca whiffing on the pass right in front with a lot of pressure on from the Cougars forecheck. Thomas losing track of the puck and that'll be sent the length of the ice by the Cougars. They'll slow things down behind their own net now, breaking it out again. Cross ice pass now on the near side is Thomas. Excuse me, is McGowan and he was unable to keep track of the puck. So once again, a breakout attempt coming for South Carolina. They'll cross through center ice now over the blue line. Wilkins against the boards in the far side corner. Patton sending it out of play off one of his, play, his teammates on the Cougars bench and play blown dead. Seven minutes, 31 seconds remaining in the third period. Under a minute, 58 seconds in the power play for South Carolina. Face off coming back into the Cougars zone. Greeley with Smojice and Panetta. Down to Panetta on the far side. He works to the top of the circle, sends a shot in, deflected high. DeChico on the hash marks on the other side, looking for Reed, broken up. Reed at the point. Cross ice pass Panetta. Panetta sends it in front, wide again. Now behind the net in the near side corner is Greeley. Smojice joining him behind and played out by the Cougars, but kept in by Reed. Now Smojice behind the net once again. Panetta at the hash marks. He drops it back to DeChico. DeChico working in, one time shot from Reed. Wide left. Now Panetta works it down to Greeley in the corner. Up to Panetta. Panetta at the top of the circle, working his way to the point. Sends it back into Greeley. As the penalty will expire in six seconds. DeChico keeps it in, but it will just cross the blue line. Offsides called, two seconds remaining in the penalty. 6.35 left in the third. If you are just joining us, four to three here in North Charleston. I'm Nick Kloss. Thank you for listening to Gamecock Hockey on SGTV. As faceoff will come all the way to the other end, Brody Smojice called for a penalty. So two seconds of four on four hockey and then College of Charleston taking another power play, looking to even things up. South Carolina did score a short-handed pass, a short-handed goal, excuse me, coming off the pass of Julian Reese Bolger, the goal scorer on that one. Fright Furtick at the point for College of Charleston. Patton working his way in, kick save by Gormley. Fright Furtick keeping it in at the point. He sends one low and slow to the front of the net. Pucks loose, poked away by the Gamecocks D. Now on the near side point, Fright Furtick. Plays with it, cross ice pass at the point. Kazmaris now down at the hash mark, centering shot, blockered away by Gormley. Six minutes remaining in the third. College of Charleston working the power play as Patton sends one from the point. That one's intercepted by the Gamecocks D and sent down nice. Khan will play it behind his own net, a minute five remaining in the power play for the Cougars. Santoro and Wilkins out with Mulcairn and Reed. The PK unit for South Carolina. Frightford taking it through center ice. He'll work his way over the blue line and he's hit by Reed. Reed with the clear attempt around the net stopped by the Cougars, centering pass. Now at the top left point. Played in front, Gormley pokes it away. And South Carolina sends it down ice, 33 seconds remaining on the kill. South Carolina looking to protect the one goal lead. Cougars working it out from behind their own net. Kazmaris, Wilkins with pressure on. He tries to work his way out. It's almost poked away by Santoro, but squeaks through. Now the Cougars enter the offensive zone. And now a centering pass. Sticked away by Gormley. And South Carolina sends it down ice as time expires on the power play. Another successful kill for the Gamecocks. Four minutes, 30 seconds remaining in the third. 
South Carolina looking for the sweep on College of Charleston. Reese and Greeley, two on one. Reese in front, he shoots, he scores! Julian Reese near side over the blocker of Isaiah Khan. South Carolina now takes a two goal lead, five to three here in North Charleston. Four minutes, 19 seconds remaining in the third period. South Carolina once again taking a two goal lead for the third time in this game now. Julian Reese getting the goal, already having a pair of assists tonight. Three point night for him. Greeley adding another one. Greeley, Bulger, and Reese being possibly the best offensive line for the Gamecocks this season. Them starting to play together last game, last night. Now, puck dropped in center ice as things will restart. College of Charleston work things in center ice. As now five on five hockey resumes. That goal coming after the time expired. Greeley works his way in, centering pass to Reese. Once again, he dangles around. Khan out of position, looking for the wraparound. Looks for Bulger on the other side. Now Kalega coming in, sends a shot wide right. College of Charleston takes over. Julian Reese intercepts the puck in center ice, works his way back in. South Carolina delayed off sides as the Cougars will dump and change. South Carolina now working it out of their own zone. Puck gets tangled up on the near side in center ice. Noah Matty, one on one. He sends a shot, deflected wide left. Now the Cougars taking over, three on two. Work their way in. Deep shot sent, blockered away by Gormley. Three minutes remaining in the third period. Now a shot sent in by the Cougars. That's deflected away and poked out of the zone by Cam Mecca. Cougars dump it back in. Grabbed by Kalega. Delayed penalty coming for College of Charleston. That's sent down ice by South Carolina but a penalty called will assess the damage. South Carolina will go on yet another power play. With two minutes, 44 seconds remaining in the third with a two goal lead here. Adam Heeman, the culprit on the penalty for College of Charleston. Lazine Santoro and Wilkins, the forwards. Pruden and Reed on D. Pruden entering the zone, he stops at the hash mark, sends a shot towards the far pad of Khan. Now fighting in the far side corner is Lazine. Prudent at the point, wraps it in. In the near side corner is Wilkins. Wilkins cross ice pass to Santoro. Santoro with a soft shot, looking for Lazine on the back door. That's poked away by the Cougars. Now one on one comes Kazmaris. Reed there with a sound defensive play in the poke check. 111 remaining in the penalty. 150 in the third. Now played around in the offensive zone by the Gamecocks, Wilkins behind the Cougars net. He works his way around, tries to send one in. That's wide, Berman now at the far side hash marks. He maintains possession. South Carolina getting the change, cross ice pass. He hits Panetta, Panetta sending the shot in. That's deflected out. But now at the point is Mulcairin. Mulcairin sends a shot, that's high. Berman on the far side to keep it in. 29 seconds remaining on the power play for South Carolina. Berman trying to play it in, he's stopped by Patton as the puck will squeak out of the Cougars zone, so South Carolina will regroup. Mulcairin trying to bring it in the zone but called off sides with 18 seconds remaining on the power play for the Gamecocks, a minute two 
left in this game. South Carolina leading five to three. Panetta, Mulcair, and Smojice talking it over as they'll go to the bench. Seems to be a timeout time called. So the two teams will talk things over. As with a minute left, College of Charleston will attempt to put two on the board and tie things up at five. South Carolina looking to add on to their lead. Gamecocks had a late game power play goal last night to win it in Irmo. <laughs> They'll have 18 seconds in the power play to possibly put another one in and possibly put the Cougars away for good. Kalega and DeChico, the defenseman in for South Carolina. Gamecocks will stick with the freshman line of Berman, Smojice, and Panetta. Face off coming in center ice. One forward by the Gamecocks. Panetta behind the net of the Cougars. He wraps it around. Now DeChico at the near side point. Sends a shot in, looks for the tip from Berman, just out of reach. 47 seconds remaining in the game. As the penalty will expire, we're all even here. The Cougars take over possession. They'll work their way around their own net. 36 seconds remaining in this game. They'll wake their way through center ice, cutting inside. That's broken up by the Gamecocks D as one of the Cougars player will be tripped up and run into the net. Goal knocked off. Play blown dead with 26 seconds remaining in the third period. South Carolina looking to advance to 4-1-1. One one. If the score remains the same, College of Charleston will fall to 0-2-2. Two two. Other two losses coming in overtime against Georgia Tech. Both their regulation losses would come from the Gamecocks. Kalega on the far side boards, works it up to Berman. Berman plays it down ice as Panetta getting the stick check, keeping it in. Now three on two, empty net for College of Charleston. Panetta trying to send it on, but it's blocked away. Under 10 seconds remaining as the Cougars enter the offensive zone. Five seconds remain. Time will expire, and South Carolina will take the win on the road here in North Charleston, getting their first away win of the year and silencing this home crowd of the Cougars. Five to three win for the Gamecocks. Julian Reese, offensive player of the game in my opinion, getting a goal and two assists. Greeley also having two. Avery Pruding getting his first of the year. Bolger having the shorthanded goal to turn things around. But that'll be all we have for you tonight. Gamecocks will be back in action at home on Friday against UNC Charlotte. Then they'll be on the road in Charlotte. We'll have another audio bra broadcast for that one. But that's all we have here. Gamecocks with the 5-3 win. Until next time, Gamecocks forever to thee.